Hi everyone, today I want to make a video to show you how to draw steel cable. Well, it's not a difficult task, but um, if you don't know how it's done, it can get quite confusing. So to start with, I'm going to copy a, just a profile I want to draw into a drawing. I can get it on the internet. I just typed in um, steel cable section and it gave me an example of what I can use to draw steel cable. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste it directly into my AutoCAD. And that's just an example of what I'm going to draw. So I'm going to make one of these strands. Each of these strands, I'm going to make it one millimeter. So to start with, I'm going to draw a circle by typing C, enter, picking a midpoint, putting the radius at 0 0.5, and that makes the strand one millimeter wide. So I'm going to copy this to the side or just to create this profile. I'm going to select that circle, use the polar array function. And as you can see, it's set to six items. As you can see, it made six items. And uh, the distance between the circles is going to be set at one millimeter. So if you want to make it bigger or smaller, you can change it here. But then you have to change the diameter of your circle as well. So the next step is I'm going to I'm going to make the middle of the cable I'm going to make a solid circle just to simplify the process for now but you can use this profile as well this one you can do the same thing you can make an a polar array as well so to start with you explode that array with x enter then you select that and Go back to Polar Array, select that center point, and it also makes an array of that object that you've selected. But I'm going to remove that in this instance. So the easiest way to do this is by using the sweep command in your 3D command or tab. As you can see, I've experimented with another one as well. This is a much thicker cable. Um, but for this example, I'm just going to draw the seven strand one. So to start with, you're going to sweep. You select the objects you want to sweep. I'm going to sweep the middle as well. And you type in T. As you can see, here, it says twist. So I um, want this to rotate around this length just one time. So I'm going to type in 360 degrees because I want it to go around just one time. Now I'm going to select the path. And as you can see, it's created, uh, uh, it swept the object that I've selected. So to see what it is, you go into realistic view and then you can see your cable there but there's a problem with doing it this way and the problem is it flattens the circles to match the profile of the path that I've selected and the path is a flat path that was this middle center line so to remedy this but before I show you how you can also just select all of these objects you can select all of them Go to array again and you see it's created this exact profile that we've done already. so but to get this to rotate aligned around that axis you have to use a helix as the path so to do this I'm gonna go to draw go to helix Select the circle as a middle point, go to that middle point for the bottom and again for the top. And I'm going to keep it three rotations and just drag it up, let's say 250. So as you can see now, it's going to create a helix around the center here. And you can select it now. And you can select all the objects again. Right click. 
and then instead of saying twist you can just keep it as the default and select the helix as the path so it takes a bit more time to create this if you go to realistic now you can see it hasn't aligned it so it kept the one millimeter profile of each strand so to get the middle as well I'm just going to use a press pull function and make it 250 as well and then I'm going to select all of these and say polar array again select that middle point and as you can see it's created a very good looking cable so I hope this helps you can use this on these type of profiles as well it will work the same but use the helix instead of this the sweep function with the twist so thank you so much for watching i hope this helped you bye bye